Okay, so now we're going to do a vertical mattress suture. The vertical mattress suture is generally used to avert the edges. And we're going to start, we're going to take a nice deep bite. The vertical mattress suture is actually excellent for um, incorporating a large amount of tissue because you take these big deep bites. So it actually gives you a little bit greater tensile strength on your wound closure. Okay, so you can see we took two deep bites, two big deep bites. So now we're going to turn the needle drive or turn the needle, needle around and put it on backwards. And in that same line there, we are going to come in and we're going to take a nice little shallow bite. Okay? So let's pull it through. And again, we're going to reload the needle backwards. And we're going to take a nice shallow bite. Okay, so now I'm going to do an instrument tie. Now, I did not leave much of a tail for myself, so I don't have too much to cut here. Let's do one more. You can also remember this vertical mattress by calling it the far, far, near, near. You're going to take one deep, deep tissue, far bite, going to take another deep tissue, relatively far bite, oop, I got looped here, and then remember, you're going to reload your needle backwards, and the near, near bites are going to be very shallow, so far, far is deep, deep, near, near, is shallow, shallow. Okay, so we're going to do an instrument tie here. Ooh, I'm locked in my needle driver. When you're t tying these knots, you don't want to pull too tight on the knot because that can cause a little bit more aversion than you want. So if I were to pull too tight on this, it might cause a little bit tighter and ultimately it would cause a nasty little scar. So let's cut those. So can you see the differences? This is the vertical mattress and this is the horizontal mattress.